Okay, well, I've been scanning some very old uh, photographs, 20 or 25 years old, uh, off negatives, and they are in a, uh, in a bit of a mess, so I need to touch them up. Uh, a lot of them are very scratched, uh, and so this is how you tidy them up in Photoshop uh, very swiftly. Now, look, one thing you can do is using the stamp tool, but this is a very, very slow way of doing it, you know, where you, uh, you choose an area and then you try and uh, delete areas around it as much as you can. I mean, that's one way you can do it, and you can see it sort of works, <laughs> well, reasonably well, if you do it properly, which I'm not doing. So... Let's just get, get rid of that uh, clone stamp tool and go back to the beginning. And instead, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the uh, history brush uh, and the filter for uh, noise reduction for dust and scratches that you can see there. But before we do that, uh, let's just make a duplicate layer uh, of this photograph, of <laughs> which is, interestingly, someone's feet. I don't know whose feet they are, but anyway, and they're not particularly attractive feet, but as you can see, it's a very, very scratchy photograph. So what we're going to do is apply the filter, go to uh, noise, dust and scratches. Now you can change the radius and the threshold, um, but you can see here it's got rid of all of the noise, but it's also made the feet very blurry. This is someone looking at their feet when they're immensely drunk. Uh, but let's not worry about that because we, uh, we you'll see how we're going to fix that up. Let's just uh, apply OK. And you see I've got the history uh, folder or the history, uh, whatever it is, the history box <laughs> here open. And uh, what I'm going to do is select dust and scratches. And that means this is actually what's going to be applied to the um, history brush that you can see on the left hand side here. But I'm going to go back to when I applied the uh, the filter to here, where it's all clean. Now, when I select the history brush, what it does is it says, well, I'm going to apply uh, what you have or what you had when you'd applied that filter, but I'm going to apply it on the new photograph. So as you can see, I can just go through all of these just like this, much faster than using the cloning tool. And what it's doing is basically saying, I'm going to take that little bit of blurred image, almost from underneath where we are. And I can just go through like this and remove them all. You can see, I mean, there's a lot to do here. But as you can see, um, I can even get rid of that yucky stuff, whatever that is on there. So gangrene on the foot or whatever it was. Um, doing this person a favor, whoever it is. And go through them all. And you can see that uh, it's all disappearing very quickly now here look here's a big big scratch we get rid of that one um, and you know if you look closely you can see that it's you know the image is blurred a little bit when you've got long stretches like that but you know if you're not looking for it you're probably not going to see it I mean you can see it there because you know what was there before uh, and look you can go through even a very very scratched image like this one nothing you can do to remove the ugliness of the feet uh, well there probably is but uh, not in this exercise. We move them all. And then, look, you know, and we've more or less done it. And if I was to uh, turn off that layer so we could see where we were before, that's where we were. And that's how we fixed it up. And we can keep on going. And that is how you remove scratches using the history brush and the uh, filter for uh, dust and scratches together. That's how it's done.